you're watching, in today's video, I'm taking you along with me on my latest trip to where? Oh yeah, Home Goods. You know your girl is back there just about every week, and I have found some super awesome finds, a few things to add to my home, and so many things to recommend to you to look for at your local store. I've been having so much fun finding amazing things at Home Goods for a fraction of the designer cost, and I've been integrating these pieces all over my home. I've been very busy making over so many spaces and I've been filming as I go. I cannot wait to share with you this series of home makeover videos coming. I'm going to be filming every single room in my home with everything ranging from slight refreshes to wild overhauls. And oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait for you to see it. <laughs> Before I begin, if you're looking for a channel to help you create a home that makes your day every day, this is it. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll never miss one of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Oh my God, you guys, it is 80 degrees in Seattle. I was out running some errands, dropping off our ballots. Don't forget to do that in your city if it's primary time. But of course, somehow I ended up at home goods. Yeah, we're going inside. We're gonna look for some treasures, as I like to say, and I'm gonna see if I can find some cool stuff for you guys to look for at your local store. All right, let's get going, cause it's like almost closing time. It's 6.15 and they close at seven. So time to roll. Okay. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm always looking for neutral pillows and a holy fluffy, not really into it. I do like this print, Magasconi Home. That's really pretty. Let's see if I can find any that are a little bit on the mid-century side, a little texture. This is a little too boho for me. Hmm, maybe a little bit more graphic than I'm looking for. I love this friend. I am obsessed with these long lumbar pillows on beds, you guys. I love all neutral bedding and then just like a fun pillow. Like $29.99. And this one is by, it's like Habitat Decor, handcrafted in India. You're into that boho vibe. These are super cute. I think it's just maybe too much tassels for me, but totally cute. Look at all these neutral beauties. <laughs> I'm knocking down pillows. Yeah, they've got a ton of this like boho variety guys. Oh, and another one of those. I just love that one. I've said it before and I'll say it again. When you're at Home Goods, look for the pillows that have down inserts or at bare minimum, plan to replace it with a down insert. You can usually find them on sale. Heading to the decor aisle. Notice these two tiny crystals, but so pretty. They're only like $14.99. A lot of beachy stuff here. So if you're into the coastal thing, I kind of dig the coral, you guys. Like that white coral is so pretty. <gasps> Look at this. Crystal. Oh, it's pretty, you guys. I love how neutral it is. Hmm. Nope. Driftwood? Hmm. Mm, no. No, no, no. Ooh, I like those woven trays. Those are pretty. Or this lantern would be really cool if you're into that sort of California coastal vibe. And again, I love these white coral objects. These are cool. $79.99. Hmm. I don't as much love the coral and the green. They also have a blue. Not my favorite. All right, I'm in the fleece like blanket section and you'll see in my upcoming makeover videos, but we did a big furniture swaparoo 
And now we have a white sofa in a room where the dogs think they can get on the sofa. So my plan was to get two of these huge plush throws. These are from Dwell Studio, only $16.99. I'm gonna get two of them so I can throw them over the white sofa when we're not home. That way the dogs can jump on the couch and I don't even have to worry about it. I have always wanted one of these Himalayan salt lamps and I always hear people who have them adore them. This one is $39.99 from the Sharper Image and it does all these colors, but I don't know if I love all those colors. I wish they were kind of neutral tones. These vessels are kind of cool for some texture, very mid-century looking with the graphic print and would be so cool with some pompous grass. And these antique horses, you guys, are so Restoration Hardware vibes. They are really cool. And they are only $39.99 each. So pretty. Oh, you guys, it's huge and dramatic. That is a vibe. And these are kind of interesting. You could really bring some dramatic brass. I've got a couple of these. Oh, $49.99. I think that's great. It's got this beautiful marble base. You know how I feel about like a single pedestal? That is so cool. More crystals. Oh my gosh, you guys, I want one. This one. It's still kind of small. You know, I'm looking for a bigger one if you watch my previous home goods shop with me, but this is $14.99. And it is so cool. You know me, I just cannot leave the accessories section. This long skinny tray. Oh, so cute. It's only $16.99. Where can I put this? I'm trying to think like bathroom maybe. It's kind of long for a bathroom counter at my house. But maybe if you have a longer bathroom counter, this would be cool to put all your little perfume bottles and trinkets in. Well, this would be cool also on the dresser. More crystals. I'm not as personally much into the amethyst, but they're gorgeous. There I am. Hi. <laughs> and they got restock on the rose quartz, you guys. So if you liked that one from my previous video, there's a bunch. Similar size to mine. This one's 20 and another one, 20. Very cool, lots of choices. All right, you guys, big house, big accessories. Bigger stuff, you might think it's gonna look too big. No, 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 you need it to fill the space. This one is huge. It's probably like 22 inches tall, just this part, and it is gorgeous. And then this huge vessel, I love the subtle striping. It's got a kind of mid-century vibes. Ooh, I like it. <gasps> look at that. This vessel, so pretty. This one's that glaze on top, matte on bottom pottery that I love. This one is from Modernist Home. It is just $16.99. I'm so tempted to take this one home. It is so pretty. Yep. She's coming home. And I think this book is too. All right, I'm making fairly good time, but they just made the announcement that they're closing in 30 minutes. So, time to get serious. If you needed a tiny cart for a bar cart or for extra kitchen, possibly storage, these are so cute and they're on casters. And they're only $99.99. This one's by the Art of Discovering Style Craft. Anyways, they're kind of industrial. I like the mix of the wood and the metal. A farmhouse kind of kitchen accessories. Just nothing's calling to me here. I mean, they're rearranging a little bit. They move the towels over here. I like the sound of rearranging. That means they're getting new stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a child set. It reminds me of all the outdoor seating in France. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, they've got a lot of restock on large mirrors. This one is, again, from Dwell Studio. And it's so simple. I like how it stands. $79.99. So pretty. No. No. Threshold. That's interesting. Still no. Not into that. Birds. That's okay. Only 30 bucks. Okay. 
Oh, I definitely know people who would love this. No. Definitely no. Ooh, the shadow box to paper is cool. That'd be a fun DIY, you guys. This one's $39.99. Gorgeous. There's a lot of sailboat art here. I do like this wooden frame. Sometimes it might just be worth buying the frame because you can replace the art and usually you can't buy a frame that cheap, that size. Just a hot tip for me to you. I have been looking at very similar cabinets to this with the fabric paneling or like a cane on the doors. This one's $49, or sorry, $499.99. It's just the wood is way darker than I'm looking for for my space, but so pretty. A little more of the furniture section. I'm just not seeing much for my space, but there's some cool pieces here, you guys. Look at these chairs. These two armchairs would look so cool, that 80s organic rounded shapes, so coming back in a big way. I can see this with a large white sofa. They're $349.99 and there's a pair. This is too traditional. I'm looking for a shelving unit, just not seeing anything. I love this live edge little table. It's a great size for a small coffee table in a small apartment, $79.99 great price. This is cool too. This one's a bit more industrial. It's $179.99. So big difference in price between these two. It's off to my favorite spot in the store, the rug section. So I'm looking for something neutral for my family room. It's been really hard to find the right piece. These are way too colorful, way too busy. I like this neutral on the right, but it's a little boring with my white sofa. I feel like it needs to have some texture, some visual interest, just not too much. I need something that's eight by 10 or nine by 12. And some of these rugs, you guys, are outdoor, indoor. I'm looking for something a little bit more traditionally indoor. Now this rug is a very interesting abstract print. I've looked at it pretty much every time I've come in here over the last few months. $399.99, I'm thinking about it. They have a lot of graphic prints right now, just not what I'm looking for, but never ever skip the rug section at Home Goods. Lots of cute little side tables, lots of not very cute little side tables. I definitely like the raw edge of this. The hairpin leg is so mid-century. This one, genuine wood. It's kind of all Scandinavian. It's a little darker than I might see in a Scandinavian home, but the design is so simple. This looks like it could be from the Opal House Lion Target. Boho vibes. Art down here. It's kind of all the same stuff I've seen many times. Pottery Barn vibes. This feels like Pottery Barn to me, and it's $39.99. This one's got a built-in USB port to charge your phone. Kind of definitely restoration hardware vibes. There's two of them, so if you wanted to put them on either side of your bed. This little spotlight lamp is so cute, and it's so unique. I've never seen anything like it. It's from Stone Studio, J Hunt Home, $39.99. It is stinking cute. There's a point when this brassy gold trend just kind of goes a little too far. Some of these just read too yellowy gold to me. Maybe it would be easier for you to tell that in person, but there's just something about some of these. I don't know how I feel about this. It's not a bad design. It's just something about it. It's just like too yellowy gold. Okay, let me explain to you how much I want this. It's gorgeous. It's a perfect dupe for a McGee & Co. bench. Stunning. $249.99 from Tommy Bahama, but oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many other things that I am prioritizing for my home right now. Sadly, I'll be leaving it behind, but if you want one, you better get down here and get it quick before I change my mind. These stone planters are such an RH doobie. They are gorgeous. They're kind of fakey stone, I think. I can't the price, though. Tahari Home, stunning, and there's an even bigger one right there. A lot of gray furniture pieces. Oh, yeah. so it's very, this is pretty though. $149.99. Yeah. Beautiful kind of gray tone wood. The tea 
future in me wants this. <laughs> but I will be leaving it behind. There's just so much junk in these piles that I just don't need to look at, but... Oh. I'd say generally it seems the stuff they put in the checkout line is stuff we haven't been able to sell anywhere else. sunglasses and a mascot it's like I'm super incognito that was probably the fastest ever trip to home goods starting at 6 30 they started saying time to bring your stuff to the front <laughs> oh gosh and then every 10 minutes after that they said that but luckily they did help me with a return I had a return turn without receipt. So just so you know, if you ever change your mind on something and you lose your receipt, don't worry about it. Just go to the home goods as soon as you can when you realize it after you bought it. Because even without a receipt, you guys, they um, worked with me to find similar items and then still, shadows are on my face are strange. Um, they work with me to find a similar item so they could still give me store credit, which of course, I'm gonna use so I never really worry too much although when you do get a receipt here I would suggest doing the smart thing that I never remember to do which is to get the email receipt because that way you know that you're covered this lighting is so bad so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here bye home goods see you next time enjoyed coming along with me on my shopping trip. I know that usually I might show you the things that I purchased, but I'm saving that for a future video very soon. I'll be sharing my top 12 best finds of the summer season from trips to all the area home goods from pretty much the end of May, June, July, and August. And you guys, I have found some of the most gorgeous pieces, many of which I have not shown you in either of my two home goods videos. So this haul is definitely something you're not going to want to miss. I've got new videos coming up for you every single Sunday, shopping tips, DIY, home decor, inspiration, room makeovers, the list goes on and up. You're not going to want to miss it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll never miss one of my future videos. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. It helps other designers like us to find my channel, find these videos. Until next time, I challenge you to find one meaningful change you can make in your space this week. Bye my friends.